nothing would have prepared me for just how much I ordered. Where the hell is it? I know it's in here somewhere. In here. Not this one. Not that one either. There it is. See, this is what I'm bloody talking about. The box says it's all larges. That says medium. They all say medium. I can't bother to find the right one, but all of this needs to go in storage containers across this back wall here. That's the job for today. Dude, are you up for the job? You up for the job? Good girl. I like to think I'm strategic when I do these things. So I'm gonna break it down into six steps. It, Oliver, this is very creative. Why is it on so tight? Number one, storage racks. Okay, I actually could make maybe another one, but I don't think I have room for it. So let's get this in here. What has gone on here? Obviously I did that. Zero recollection of me doing that, which is gonna be super annoying to get off. Okay, getting it in actually shouldn't be too difficult. It shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> okay. Can we drag it in? Whoops. Light. I would really like to convert this whole room into a nice editing setup in here. That would be sweet. Come on, bear, move your legs out of the way. Help us out, pal. Yeah, there's not quite enough room to fit in an out box down there. Step two is to unbox everything. While I was thinking of the best way to unpackage all of these, I just got an email that I've got a package arriving today Somewhere between, what time is it now? Oh, literally almost 1.30. Between 1.30 and 5.30, which determines the type of content I'll be making over the next few weeks, if not more than that. It's not an exciting product. Product. Let's be real with that. That was a good twist, but the potential it has for future videos and a change in my life, lovely. <laughs> I'm only two boxes in and I've come up with a genius approach to this, watch this. So you grab a box, flip it upside down. Perfect. Get it into position. Change where you are. Into position, undo the top. The undoing the top is actually part of the process for later, but. Oh my goodness. Nothing would have prepared me for just how much I ordered. I think the rest is hats, socks, and shaker bottles. So I'm gonna leave those for now. This. <sighs> Organize. All right, I was gonna have everything. What are we doing up here? Okay. I was gonna have everything lined up on the floor and then move it into there, but I just don't have the floor space. There's, and the bags are all slipping everywhere. So I think I'm gonna do it clothing of item by clothing of item. I'm bored of this already. <laughs> oh, let me tell you about, yes. My way of doing things is the agile way of doing things. So you do a small chunk of something first, follow that through, get feedback from it. Did it, was it good? Was it efficient? Was it the best process? Could you improve it? And then do the same process again. But if you've learned something new, incorporate that. So here I'm adapting my strategy and I'm just going to put, once I have a clothing line filled, I'm going to go and throw it back there. I can't do it, but that was me throwing it back over there. Put every, what was it? Put everything away? Okay. Dude, that is a lot of clothing. 
a serious amount. I don't even have socks, hats, or bottles in here. But while I was doing that, I was thinking about various skits to do. What if I could be create the skits that are something to do with a shop owner, like this is the store, it's kind of a weird store that it's like this, maybe I could decorate it a certain way, and create a character, potentially a non-PC character, which is where my mind's going. But I think I'll need to clear out what's over here. You can't see because of the bear. It's just millennial boxes. Why have I kept the boxes to everything? Have a look. Oh, goodness, Oliver. And it's just a mess. So I think they could go back there. What time is it? Three o'clock. Break down boxes. Ugh. I was quite proud of that shot just there. So actually the setup, I haven't shot the main shot yet. So I've got this setup and I thought if I have the camera here, I want it, the reflection to show the work being done over here. And so I've gotten this set up as if it's pointing down, as if it's the reflection down to what's happening. And then now I'm about to rewind the clock about just over 10 minutes. And then we'll have this shot and I'll have put the GoPro, well not GoPro, Action 2 footage in here to look like the reflection. Wow, Oliver, that's so cool. So it would turn to be that Master Ruger has opened the package. And it wasn't much of a PR package. This is the product lotion and body wash. But here is what comes of it. So things started when I saw that their, the Lubriderm Canada account started following me after seeing one of my feet in lotion videos. From there, I actually sparked up conversation with like a, a pun on feet, I think. And we just kept chatting. Uh, and at this point, my understanding from the conversation with them directly is that they're going to be doing some work, some campaigns on these two products and so they sent out a PR package to however many creators and then they're going to pick out of those creators for the campaign. So this is what I proposed to them. There's been a morning shed trend on TikTok where people just wear an absurd amount of different things to sleep. And I think I should do that for one and seven days. And so I can use this in one of the videos pretty simply. And that would be essentially the like the trial type video as to whether they think we should work together or not. And then I want it to lead into a skincare routine s series where I add a new routine to each video. And I'm thinking of just going just super extravagant, ridiculous stuff for the fun of it. <laughs> and there's really no limit on that. So if they do want to do a partnership, it makes sense to do a partnership on multiple videos. Okay, how are we on the merch situation? We have some cleanup to do. These are duds. Misprints. And then we've got socks and bottles. But I'm pretty pleased with how organized that looks. Nice job, Oliver.